okay so let us examine how the data relation works um, first let me rebuild this solution then we will start running it so here our dialog is uh, displayed uh, let me click the load button so that um, the first data grid view will store uh, uh, I mean will display the uh, list of stores and then the second data grid will display the uh, sales made by this store and the data grid will display all the contributing authors so now we loaded all uh, three data grid view let me okay let me expand the rows all right this is enough it's just for a demonstration purpose so it doesn't uh, provide enough room for the grid uh, so that's why i am resizing it so now the data relation is established between uh, first data grid we call this as a stores data grid through or to the sales data grid and this is author's data grid uh, let's call like this <coughs> uh, the first relation is made between these two data underlying data table based on the store id then uh, based on the title ID uh, we make relationship between the sales and the authors table so since we uh, created a data relation and assigned that to the data table which is uh, part of the data set and uh, we specified the such a relationship exist for the data grid view also through its uh, data source and data member so now if I click a particular row here, say for example here the uh, store name is BookBeat. So if I click a BookBeat row here in the stores data grid view, the corresponding stores which made sales of this particular, I mean uh, um, if I click a row BookBeat, all the sales made by that bookbit store will get displayed in the sales table first let me do this so if you see there are um, four sales uh, four title i can say four title uh, is sold by this uh, bookbit stores so this kind of relationship is automatically rendered based on the data source and data member relation that we set to the data grid view and at the same time if you remember we set uh, such a relation uh, to the data set also so first we created the uh, data table three data table data table one data table two and data table three then we assigned those data table to the data set second third uh, we created a relationship between uh, uh, first data table and second data table uh, we call first data table stores and second data table sales and we created a relationship between them then we create a second relationship between uh, stores and authors mm -hmm. then we added those two relationship to the um, data set after that we specified those data relation through data source and data member property of this data grid view so this is explained in the page article you can uh, look into that article for getting more clarity okay since i click book beat let me go to some other uh, store so these are all the two sales made by that so let me go for a book beat again so here there are four titles so if i click a particular title here based on this uh, title id we 
peak corresponding author that means uh, i can say a uh, title can be written by single author or it can be written by more than one author also so if i click this there are a two author uh, who contributed to this title let me click one by one yeah so this book is uh, written by only one author uh, carson cheril so if i click the first one there are uh, two contributing author in jerani and de uh, france michel yeah that's all i'm just searching for a row where three author contributing it so we doesn't find anything like that i guess yeah so if you see there are more author i guess three yeah ah uh, the story is uh, news and brews shushi anyone that's the store uh, title and the contributing authors are three people here yeah. so that's all on this uh, example so this example shows you the power of uh, uh, automatically render how the data grid view automatically renders the corresponding uh, uh, data row just by making use of the data relation and the data source data member property all right i'm closing this video now